just for the sake of it, let's try running on CRT mode. Let's just see how blurry it actually is. Oh, I do like that. That is really blurry, though. That is so blurry. Is there a blank card to begin print? Secure access card print system. Oh, I probably need a blank card to uh, print the new protector thing for the elevator I need. Examination key card needed. What is this? Turn sample, toggle image mode. What the heck? What am I even looking at? It looks like a pistol with the front of it cut off. Revolver. I can see three rounds in it. What is this about? Oh. Bildum Rowan Object A B. That's like the camera information, like the f-stop and stuff. What the hell? What am I doing with any of this? It's all these items here that it's scanning. You can see various objects laid out under the x-ray apparatus behind the glass. I'm gonna keep looking. There's gotta be something on one of these. looking for something? Oh, maybe this. This looks like it could be the solution to something. Are they different patterns? Or is it just the same thing reversed? Yeah, just the same thing reversed. Hmm, let me write this configuration down. All right, got that written down. And then I think we already looked at this one. I don't think there's anything in it. X-ray imaging room. Don't know why they'd want to be imaging those things. Oh, I don't like this. It's the morgue, of course. Of course it's the fucking morgue. Body bag, I'd rather not open it. Let's try to just avoid this. This one. Shotgun rounds. I don't think there's anything else to pick up. Incinerator room key needed. Wait, was there something there? Oh, oh that's just showing me where- ah! 
That's just showing me when I'm off screen. Okay, does it follow me through? Oh, no. Thank God. That leaves... down here. Love the sound of the shells hitting the ground. I wonder if these things explode if I shoot them. I'm not gonna try. Patient complained about severe nausea and headaches, admitted to hospital wing after vomiting oxidant fluid during work. Clinical picture in line with other recent cases among protector staff. So that's the sickness everybody has been coming down with, possibly after the incident. Well, we still have no indication what causes this syndrome. We've observed similar developments in all patients. More puzzlingly, development of the syndrome seems to progress similarly in both replica and gestalt patients. Initial admission test showed hypo hypotension, high fever and dehydration, internal hemorrhaging, strong cognitive decline with the first cycle, uh, within the first cycle, alopecia and purpura. Within five cycles, skin will begin to peel in large patches. Decline of vision quality and ability to communicate may follow. Gestalt patients will usually expire at this stage due to infections, while results for replica patients seem to vary. Peeling skin. And they can't see as well. That explains why these creatures, well, they don't seem to see me very well. Good for me. A TV with a built-in video cassette player. If I had a video cassette, I could watch it here. What if I put in the video cassette and it was just straight up the video from Silent Hill 2? Maybe it won't. Oh, yeah. Hearing's not great either. As long as I don't sprint, it's not too bad. Pistol ammo. Oh, there's lots of shotgun ammo in there. And there's a healer thing, and there's probably pistol ammo. There's so much ammo. It's worth shooting these just to get in here. Oh shit, what the hell? What just happened there? For some reason I just suddenly lost targeting. I don't know why. Are we hurt badly? Hmm. We're at yellow. I think I'll use one of those small healer patches. When I get one. It's a repair patch. Okay, actually, hold on. Can I drop things without losing them permanently? Actually, can I... Can I drop things at all? I don't think I can. No. Shit. Oh, wait. There's... I can destroy... 
I mean, I'm not going to do that. And I can't even destroy this repair spray, only ammo. Probably go dump some stuff. The safe's pretty close. Oh, yeah, they really hear you when you run. I just wanted to test it while it was a safe distance. away the 10 millimeter ammo. Let's retrieve a repair patch. Just one. Use it. Store the re normal repair spray. Yeah. That looks good to me. I hope they're not... Like, I hope they've reset to their position. I think they have. Auto-injector? What's that? Repli replica circulatory stimulant, liquid injection, auto-injector. Extremely potent for replica use only. It's a sterile solution. Oh, K KL Stim N is a sterile solution in an auto-injector pen for emergency injection. It instantly acts on the replica circulatory system, restoring system health. It's intended to be used to avoid critical system failure in replica frames generation 3 and up. How to use it. It can be used directly from the inventory screen. You can also equip it in the inventory screen to the tool slot to use it on the move. Proceed. Uh -huh. It'll... Oh, when it's in the tool slot, the auto injector will activate automatically when the replica system would otherwise fail, preventing system failure and instantly restoring the system partially. Always seek medical attention after averted system failure. Hmm. Protect you from death kind of thing. Someone inside the oxygen tent. It's hard to look at her. Yeah, everyone's skin is just peeled off. Everyone looks horrifying. Would I want that instead of... I don't think I want that instead of the stun baton. Yeah. Fuck. Can't sneak out of the room. Like I could sneak into it. Ah. Oh, I got them both. Yes. Oh, that's so nice. Hey. Yule. Everyone's turned weird. I'm the only one left, I think. 
Will I get sick like the others, too? I'm scared. I don't want to die. You look kind of familiar. Have we met before? At first, it was only Commander Falk who fell ill. Slowly, everyone started behaving strangely. I'm too scared to go outside. I don't want to become like the others. I don't want to die. <laughs> Same memorandum about the wall safe codes. Makes sense. It's a memorandum. I think pretty much everyone got it. Tried this door. Whoa. One of the most lively rooms I've seen in this horrible place. Not that it. I mean, it's. <laughs> the lighting is still grim, but. What is this? This pillar. Feels peaceful. sword. Hmm? Alright, that's obviously important. Hmm. There was something we saw just a little while ago that said something. About, like, uh, it mentioned a sword. We haven't found anywhere to use this information. But, no, it wasn't this. Was it the frequencies? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sword, 229. Hmm. Oh wait, there's something there. It's probably one I already wrote down, right? 59387? 59387, yeah, I already have that written down. But I assume transmissions are probably going to change at some point. Anyway, we, we can't do anything with that at the moment. Hmm. Fire key required. That's what the F is? Earth. Gold. Water. Air. Is this like the ultimate door? The one we need to get to in the end? That's a lot of keys. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, I think this is going to unlock from the other side. The side, I mean. Yeah. I think I'm full of stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Better judgment. Or, yeah, my, <laughs> my cautious judgment says, go manage your inventory and save. Socket wrench handle. Don't think we've found something we need to wrench yet. 
Universal wrench handle with a snap-on pin for socket adapters. Useless without a socket adapter. Yep. They look like they were healthy when they died. Oh, I don't have the space for the pump room key. At least I have space to stack that so I can pack it away. I went back to the non-CRT version. I quite liked it, but it was a little bit too blurry, and I was kind of worried about it being really hard to look at for other people. So, going without it. But yeah, freedom of inventory. Now we can take this. Anything on the back? No. Right. Where was the pump room? Past the morgue was the fire key. So it's not that one. It's either one of these two or that one. That unlocks from the other side. Oh, that's the pump room. Flood drainage system malfunction to all medical wing areas. Or... Aros? Medical wing Aros? Is that supposed to say areas? But it's capitalized. Not sure. The automatic equalizer pumps in the flood drainage system still appear to be broken, causing the lower level to be flooded. Since we're currently focusing repair efforts on the east wing staircase structure, the drainage system pressure has to be manually equalized from the control panel in the pump control room for now. To drain the water, make sure that both the A and B tanks have the same amount of water in them and that the C tank is completely empty. You can see the water levels in the tanks on the control panel. Press the buttons at the bottom of the panel to move water between the tanks using the air pressure system. It's a bit tricky to get the two tanks equalized this way because you can only move all the water in a tank at once this way. Unless the receiving tank is full. With the pumps out of order, only tank A will fill up by itself. We've got a puzzle. With tank A full, here's how to equalize the reservoir. Fill tank B, then fill tank C with water only from B. Uh, okay. Uh, I could probably just do this by trial and error and trying to figure it out myself, but I guess if they just give me the instructions, I guess I'll just follow them. Let's see if I can get this on my own. I think I just did it on my own. Make sure I don't mess this up. C to A, yes. Yeah, I did it. I like that they provide the solution, though, if you, you know, if you don't like that stuff or it annoys you or frustrates you, you get stuck on it. You can just, like, <laughs> they give you the hint, basically. It's not, well, it's not even a hint. They just give you the strategy guide, if you want it. But you don't have to use it. Hmm. Don't like this. Water key. This feels like a boss room or something. I don't like this. It's bad vibes. Flooded bathroom. Repair patch. Do I have room for those? Apparently. Two repair patches. Oh, I love the water effect. Those little splishy splashes look so good. Oh my god, this place is cursed. Yes, save room. Oh, examination room key. Disposable stun rod. Don't need the repair patches. Let's put those stun rods away. I guess four is the max stack. Oh, 
Let's put that key away too. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. Did I? Oh, I don't have these equipped. Equip. Jesus. All right, let's go back for a patch. Looks like it's going to go to this room that opens from the other side. I don't want to go there just yet. Check the other doors first. Oh, blank key! Yeah! Oh, look at that. There's even box physics. Looks so good. Such a pretty game. Two more doors, doors to try. Oh, the video cassette? Oh, there's so much. Ugh. What the fuck? Uh. I can't kick them. They're just down, down. What the hell? They came out of the floor. Don't like that that's a thing. Oh my god. How am I doing on ammo? Three shots. Personal grievance form. Time of incident, all the time. Location, medical wing. They keep using my wrench in misplacing the 10 millimeter socket. I've been reprimanded for not repairing the fan in the vent in the lower level, but I can't remove the vent cover without a 10 millimeter wrench socket. I know she's doing it on purpose. I guess I need to get it from them then, the 10 millimeter socket. Need a wrench with a fitting socket to remove the air vent cover. Guess they're going to be going into another hole eventually. I'm low enough on ammo that I think I want to store the shotgun and take the pistol. High power holotip 12mm revolver ammunition. Yeah, don't have a revolver yet. Let's store the blank key. And take the pistol. Do have my stun baton still here good because i think i'm gonna need to use it literally the second i come out of this freaking room
There we go. That was my last one, though. I've got some more. Mm, let's take two. in here. Oh god. Fuck that. Store the video cassette. And the patches. Now it can go up. Okay. We got a bunch of things to do. Hmm. Is it this one? Oh yeah, the water key. And then the VCR player is over there. So let's get the water key and the VCR player. Great, just need four more. <laughs> VCR is next. So odd. It's like we're playing through the memory, but we actually get the thing in real life. Special access card with a gold motif. Something seems strange about this key, like it doesn't belong here. Yeah. Okay, that's the examination room there, which I have a key to. I'm going to put the gold key away, so I'm not sure what to do with it just yet. Oh yeah, we also need to use the blank key on the... Oh, it's just above us, actually. The um, card reader programmer thingy. So let's do that. Define pattern. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that was what I drew down from that when we x-rayed that one access card. Oh, shit, though. Um, I'm not exactly sure which orientation, however. Well, it could only be one of two ways. Oh, wait, no. The bottom level... Hold on. Oh, 
what am I selecting? Oh, define pattern or print pattern. I see. Okay, now. Yeah, we can't actually change the ones at the very bottom. So that actually tells me that this can only be in one orientation. Yeah, okay. So then I have to turn my head to the side. Um, yeah, let me just pick up that little note and just turn it sideways. <laughs> That'll make it a lot easier. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's going to tell me if it was right or not. It said it was a blank key. That makes me think it's not. Hmm. Blank template for a special access card. But it's not blank anymore. The blank has one row of contacts less than original keys. I feel like I fucked that up. I'm also not even sure what it's for. Maybe I'm trying to program my way into the fire room? I don't know. Let's just go to examination. Ten millimeter socket! Yes! Quick curing construction foam. Since the ration plan has changed again, we're short on quick curing repair spray. Turns out we can make our own by combining coagulant K with normal expanding PU foam. It won't expand as much, but it'll harden instantly and make a fairly solid bond if you're in a rush to get some repairs done. You can use normal replica repair patches, since they're a pretty easy source of coagulant K, and just combine them with normal repair sprays. Hmm. Oh, cool. I guess I could have done that from the beginning, but I just didn't know that was even possible. What doors are left? Is it really just that fire one, huh? Oh yeah, and then the mine shaft. Oh my god, I'm Which floor am I even actually on? Help. There. <laughs> We're on B3. Oh right, this horrible room. Yeah, fuck. Oh no. That's right. What about that gold key? Oh, it was just in the door. Right. That special door. Well, I don't think using it will actually do anything. But I might as well. Oh, yeah. And now we have a 10 millimeter socket. Hmm. We need another component for the blank key. I don't know. We can combine those. I am very low on pistol ammo. 
I'll just take whatever I have left. Nine shots. whoop de doo Okay, now we have our full socket. And what did it say I could compare? Repair patches? Or, sorry, what did it say I could combine? Repair patches and just normal repair sprays. Oh yeah, that makes a repair spray plus. Cool. Oh yeah, and then I just need a normal patch for healing. I accidentally took my repair spray plus. I want to keep that on me. Now let's go down and undo the fan vent with our socket wrench. I'm trying to remember how to get there. Hmm. Wait, hold on, there's an e-lock in the waiting room? What is that? Oh, right, it's this thing. Did I take the gold key? Can't remember. No, I didn't. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. In this way. Oh. Ooh. Oh, wait. Actually, hold on. <laughs> Back in there. I can fit this now. Mm. Oh, vent room. Yeah. There's a keycard lying in the vent, but the slits of the vent cover are too narrow for me to reach through. Yep, how do I... There we go. Just watch your hand. I think I'm going to wait for that blade to pass. Oh, it's the air key. Hmm. Well, it's not going to help me in my immediate future. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Wow, you were close. Let's take the gold key. Anything else I want? Like, should I take the shotgun instead of the pistol now? Kind of think, yeah. Make sure to equip it.
gold key. Air key. Okay, we're making quick progress of this. Two more. Okay, well, it looks like my blank key was the wrong orientation. I went back and double-checked it, and yeah, it was a different orientation than I thought. And it goes into the earth slot. So now it's just the fire key left. And I don't know where to find that. I mean, probably in the, like, incinerator room, but I don't know where to find the key to that. Oh, this is what I was missing? There's a wall safe in the nurse's station. Totally missed that. Oh, wait. Hold on. Well, this one's interesting. Well, none of those codes are going to work. He uses letters. This looks related to this. I think this is just saying you can treat each letter, each letter as a number based on just where a normal number would be in a keypad. And HSR, is that the same? As this? Oh no, it's not. The, the orientation's different, so I need to write this down and, like, cross-reference it. Yeah, that did it! Oh, that's so satisfying. So yeah, I cross-referenced <clears throat> which, um, which number each letter was mapped to, given the sword note, and then just decoded all the numbers we've gotten over the radio by mapping those into their equivalent letters. And tried them all. It ended up being the last one on my list, the 59387. So that's crossed out, which only leaves three more passcodes that we've gotten from um, broadcasts that are unused. I like the puzzles in this game so far. Satisfying. Not too hard, but they also make you think a bit. And they make you write some stuff down on paper, which I like. Oh. Incinerator room key. What is this, though? A Dedic module. An old photographic memory module allows recording of up to six visual memories. Incredibly outdated, but it might still be useful. So I can take pictures? When equipped, it can record up to six visual memories as grayscale images. Old images are automatically overridden when taking a picture. Huh. Uh, okay, does that go into the tools bar? Yeah. Oh, I love how that looks. That's so cool. It's cool. Like, it's really cool. I just wish it didn't take up an inventory slot. I can't spare an inventory slot for something like that when I can just write things down. But it's really, really cool. But I just know that's going to go right into the storage box. Dang. All right, let's make a dash back to the incinerator room door. There's a lot of things awake along the way. don't like the vibe of this room. Thermite flare. Proper disposal of- <gasps> You can burn bodies to make them go away forever, can't you? May, as you've probably heard, there have been multiple accounts of bodies of decommissioned protectors spontaneously reactivating and acting in a defective manner. 
Based on November's autopsy report, it seems that all affected units showed some sort of cancerous growth in their organic components. According to her, unless completely incinerated, this growth may reactivate the replica even after it's been dead for hours. We don't know what causes this and we're unsure who's affected. We can't keep up with incinerating all the bodies, with just two incinerators that constantly need recalibrating, so we're improvising. These thermite flares are able to melt through replica armor and burn the organic components from the inside. I've requisitioned more of them, but there was some paperwork missing, so we'll have to wait a bit longer. Yes! Self-igniting handheld chemical pyrotechnic stick burns extremely hot for a short duration. Can be used to incinerate enemies. Wonder if it does anything to living enemies. Does that go in? Yeah, that goes into the tool slot. There's a key card I need. Who put it in there? Like, why would you do that? Well, I assume we need to turn off the incinerator so we can grab it. Hmm. Oh, you probably need to pull this to get anything to happen. Oh, I think this is telling me what it needs. There we go. Yeah, just messed with each knob until it didn't light up anymore and said it was calibrated right. Last key. Get ready to run. Ow. Are we yellow? Yeah, let's use a little patch. I'm thinking when to use thermite. Just if it's an area I'm going to be going through a lot, but I feel like I'm almost done with this area. So maybe I won't use it for this one. So I'm going to store that. They are very fast when they want to be. behind this door. Repair patches. Ammo. Oh, it's a save room. Is this another hole to go down into? It is. Oh my god. No. Finally felt my shotgun again. Well, I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. I've enjoyed, enjoyed this so much. I just played it in about a four-hour marathon. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it as well. See you soon for the next one.